What's up guys, Hong Nguyen, OG Fitness. In this video, I'm going to answer a question from one of our subscribers, from Sean Williams. So, Sean Williams' question is, I'm an eighth kill second belt in a karate style similar to Kyokushin. I intend to start judo by third or second kill, green or brown belt. What can I work on now and continue to do so I can hit the ground running when I start judo training. Sean sent me this question by email, so that's why I'm putting a priority on it because I actually read my emails more than I uh, read my, my comments. I don't think there's anything you can really do to prepare yourself for judo, uh, but because the thing is the only thing that, that will make you a good grappler is to grapple. This goes uh, the other way around too. Like if you were doing judo and then you were to ask me like, well, what can I do to um, karate and hit the ground running? Well, there's really nothing you can do except our karate. Let me just make this clear. It's because it's a completely different approach to fighting. Striking is striking. Karate is essentially a striking art and judo is a grappling art. So the two are completely different things. The only one thing that you can do is practice break falling. I think, I've never done karate before guys, but there might be break falling in karate. I'm not sure, I'm not sure. Maybe it depends on the style, but uh, for those of you guys who, who know, then uh, let me know down below, right? Because the thing with a karate gi is that a karate gi is very, uh, the uniform, right, is very thin. Judo, judo gis are thick, are really thick. If you're not afraid of falling, you know how to fall, you know how to, you know, like uh, hit the ground with your forearm, look in the right direction as you fall, you'll progress much faster in judo. Okay, so I'm just emphasizing stuff that you can do without a training partner, without having somebody else there to teach you judo because the best way to learn judo is to do judo. One thing you can work on is your grip strength. If you work on your grip strength, this is gonna translate very well to judo because judo, there's a lot of gripping involved. And gripping is like the most important thing. It's like 70, 70, 80% of judo. Like once you understand, once you learn how to do the pros, after that, it's about gripping. So the one who all grips the other is essentially going to win because he has a dominant position, right? Hand position. For your grip, what can you do? Climbing a rope. Thicker the dia diameter of the rope, okay, the, the harder it's gonna be on your grip. So you can build your way up. If you don't have a rope, what you could do is you could take a towel, a towel, and then do pull-ups with your towel. Or one side, then, you know, do pull-ups like this, and then switch over, of course. And you could also uh, work on your, your hand strength. So finger push-ups, push-ups on your knuckles for your wrists also. Okay, having strong hands, strong wrists, a strong grip, that's gonna benefit you a lot in judo, definitely. So those are the two things that you should do. Uh, if you have to choose between those two things, I would recommend break falling. Break falling, rolling, rolling forward, backwards, on the side, on your shoulder, switching positions, you know? That way when you do uh, get to judo, well, you already have um, your break falling taken care of. And that's a big part of it because a lot of people, like they're, they're afraid to fall. So because of that, then, you know, it takes them a lot longer to master judo because they don't want to get thrown and, and so on and so on. And one of the things in judo is that if you get caught, you just, you know, just take the fall. So I hope that made sense and uh, I, I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace. So thank you very much for watching. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, and click on the notification bell. Also, there's a link down below. If you guys click on it, it's gonna bring you to a page where you could follow me on all my social media platforms and you can also apply for uh, for coaching so that you guys can work directly with me. Also, one last thing guys, if you have any questions, right, send me an email. That's the best way to reach me. I read them and I'll, I'll answer your, your questions, man. All right, peace.